Alright Retro Gamers, welcome back to another episode of Chris Neo, and this time we're going to talk about a retro game that I saw at Toy Fair a couple months ago that I was granted exclusive access to that nobody else was. Alright, so in our last unboxing video, I took a look at these little arcade cabinets and boy, they were a total blast from the past when it comes to retro gaming. Now, the only downside to these is that, well, they're really small and they fit on your tabletop. They're not actual size. But if you're looking for something that is truer to the arcade experience, then you're gonna love, absolutely love what I'm about to show you. And when I went to Toy Fair, this year, I was granted exclusive access into this little tent that was hidden away in a little corner. They wouldn't let anyone in, they wouldn't let anyone take photographs or video except for me. So I pretty much have the exclusive on this. I don't know if it's been released anywhere else, but at Toy Fair, uh, they <laughs> I pulled out the camera and the PR person was like, oh, he's it's okay, I, I brought him in. So all these security people came out of nowhere. So you have to see this to believe it. All right, so Arcade 1UP has made these really cool replica of arcade game cabinets. And these are mini cabinets that you can purchase later this year with a price point low enough that you can purchase and put in your own home. Very cool. Now on display they had five of these cabinets in all, and each one of these comes with four different games. On the Centipede cabinet, you also get the games of Millipede, Breakout, and Missile Command. On the Asteroids cabinet, you can also play Qbert, Lunar Lander, and one of my favorites, Tempest. On the Street Fighter 2 cabinet, you can also play Ghosts and Goblins, Final Fight, and Strido. There's a Rampage cabinet where you can also play Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender on. There's also a Space Invaders cabinet, which uh, I'm not really sure what else it plays because I was so excited that I forgot to get the footage of the bottom of the cabinet. Way to go, Chris. Now what's cool about each of these cabinets is that the controls are very true to the originals. And of course you can't play Centipede without the rollerball and yep, it is included. And of course I did get hands on time with good old Centipede and man, it played just like I remember. And I haven't played Centipede with a rollerball in years, so what a great addition. So Centipede fans rejoice because this thing is awesome. Now these cabinets stand, yep, about four feet tall, which is a little bit shorter than the original arcade cabinets. But these come with a chair so you can sit down while you're playing. But if you want it to be as tall as the original arcade cabinets, you can also get a cabinet riser, which I think they said is going to be another extra $100. I also sat down and played a little bit of Asteroids. Didn't get that far because that game is really hard. But I felt all the controls, all the wood, all the material cabinets are made from, and it's really durable. They did a great job at making this structurally sound for the price point that it's at. I, for one, cannot wait for these things to come out because they look absolutely amazing. I used to love going to the arcade when I was a little kid, and this brings you back to that experience. Plus, yeah, you can sit down and play in the comfort of your home. Very cool. So I'm not sure when these will come out, probably in the summertime, August, around that time frame, and they're gonna be priced around $3.99, and you can actually get other accessories that go along with it to raise it and sit in front of it on a table stool so very very cool all right gamers i hope you enjoyed that exclusive look and until next time game on make sure you check out the official sponsor of the chris neo show which is retrogamechesture.com where you can get nintendo super nintendo game boy games and more delivered to your doorstep in a monthly video game box